All right, I've got a problem with my submarine, and it's, it's quite complex. Look at this. I have on the bow of my submarine um, some hydroplanes that need to open. When they sort of sit there and they sit at an angle like this when they're extended, and they close up to the hull when they're retracted. Now this is a two-fold problem. It's mechanical and it's electronic. So the way I want to resolve it is this. I want the ballast control on my um, transmitter to trigger it all. So that when I put the ballast control to 25-2, the Arduino sets in line a routine. And what the routine will be is this. Number one, it's going to turn off the power to my um, hydroplanes. It's going to turn them off. Because there's nothing I want less than the hydroplanes to be moving around when they're closing up. Two, it's going to turn on the retract servo, which has been just sitting there dead. It's going to turn it on. It's going to three, then move the arm slowly to retract the, the uh, hydroplanes and then it's going to turn off. So both servos are off and dead and that's it. Now when I move that arm back into normal, what do I want it to do? I want it to turn on the retract I want it to slowly descend, descend. Thirdly, I want it to turn off the retract so that it stays there and then turn on the hydro. Now, that's all well and good, but what I also want is that when I turn the, uh, the boat on. When I start the boat up and the Arduino boots up, I wanted to do some things. The first thing that I wanted to do is extend the, uh, the, um, the hydros. So I want the default position to be open and I want the uh, retract servo off and I want the hydro servo on. So all of that I can do with a bit of code. How does it work? Well, I'm not going to go into how I did this, but what you will see on my um, uh, resources page is a script called Basic Sub Retract. And if you open that up, um, I also have the basic sub-retract uh, circuit diagram. You can see here that I've got them open and what I want you to do is just have a look through the script and think it through yourself. I've annotated what everything's meant to be. It's basically a logical process and I think with what you know so far you can go through that script and understand it. And what you can see here on the screen is not only the the Arduino software and the script, but also a picture in the background of the very hydroplane I wanted to control. The only difference that I've made in this uh, software from the uh, two servos is that I've, I've actually added a third, and that is the controller, which is the ballast. And I've also uh, put an output to the ballast, and I'm running three servos. And I've done that just so that I can see the actual action in physical, in real time, of the ballast servo. So basically, of those servos, one is the ballast, one is the hydroplane, and one is the retract servo. So when I turn this on, it goes through the initial routine, which is it turns the retract servo on, it makes sure it's open, and then it turns it down, so that the, it turns it off, so that the retract servo is no longer working. 
But when I move my controller, my ballast controller, to 25.2, amazingly enough, it turns off the hydroplane, it turns on the retract servo, and now it's majestically and slowly moving toward its goal. And then, when it gets to the closed, it turns off. So when I turn the knob back to normal position, the retract servo turns on, very, very slowly opens out, and as soon as it gets to the desired position, it turns off and the hydroplane turns on. That's exactly what I want, so I'm pretty happy with that. I might also mention that on the script I have added um, a couple of um, uh, ints or integers and they describe the opening and the closing position and I can easily change those and I can easily change the speed. It's, it, it, it's pretty, pretty much foolproof. So this is going to be interesting. I've got the electronics done, now I just have to make this work somehow. Okay, that's the fun of it all, I guess.